So let's go in here. Welcome to another video on MotoGP 17. And it's going to be another different video, again, uh, that I'm going to be talking about today. And it's going to be something that's going to be happen uh, happening next year uh, in MotoGP. Uh, so I know that I've not been watching MotoGP lately. Um, yeah, I've kind of not had the time to watch it. Hopefully I will be uh, watching it at some point when I do have the time. Um, but yeah, something's going to be happening next year. Um, and it's going to be about Carol Abraham. So basically, if you don't know, Carol Abraham has been in MotoGP for a long, long time. And, um, yeah, apparently, um, MotoGP have decided to not have him next year, basically. And, yeah, apparently, I do actually follow him on Twitter. Uh, I know, so I follow MotoGP, obviously. And, apparently, they tweeted, uh, I think it was, when was it? I think, I think the other day. Uh, I can't remember when it was. And, yeah, apparently, uh, yeah, they tweeted the other day. And, apparently, um, yeah, Carol Abraham is not going to be in MotoGP into next year. And, um... Yeah, Carol Abraham, he's a very, very, very good rider. Um, as I said, I, 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 I don't really support him that much. Um, and yeah, he's not going to be racing next year because apparently the reason why he's not going to be racing is because that someone has already took his place. And obviously, they only have uh, two riders, basically, in the team. Uh, obviously, I think I believe they've still got Tito Rabat next year. Because um, uh, obviously, in um, in this season, uh, he was... Um, yeah, obviously he had Tito Rabat, um, but yeah, um, but apparently uh, I know that they've still got Rabat uh, for um, next year, uh, next year. Uh, but apparently someone's going to be taking that place. I, I, I actually don't know uh, who's actually going to be taking his ride. Um, I think I think I believe it might be a new rider. I'm, I, I'm, actually, I'm actually not entirely sure who it is, um, but yeah, uh, someone's going to be taking his ride next year, and it is a big shame because Carol Abraham is, is a brilliant rider. I, uh, I know that he did actually take some time out of MotoGP, uh, I think it was for one year, uh, and then he actually came back again, so um, uh, I know that he's done that before, and then, uh, and, then, and then he came back, and then he's back in it again, so but I know that that happened, but I think that might have been for a reason, that one, but now, he's um, yeah, he's not reti he's not racing completely next year, and um, yeah, a lot of people are going to really like him, because he is a very good rider, and um, yeah, apparently by the uh, the manager, they've actually not decided to not have him. Um, and yeah, it is a big shame, really. But yeah, it, it is a really big shame he's not going to be in he's not going to be in MotoGP next year because um, yeah, as I said, he's very he's very very good. Uh, obviously, he's a very good rider. Um, and yeah, basically, they're not going to be having him next year. So um, and yeah, he's uh, he's a very very quick rider. Uh, obviously, he's been getting some good results, um, and uh, I don't even know how long he's been in MotoGP for. Uh, I think for I don't even I don't even really know. Um, I think he's I think he's been I, I think he's been in for a while. Uh, I, I, I think I'm going to say about six years. I think he's been in it. Um, as I said, I don't actually really really know, but I, I think I think it's around six years he's been he's been in uh, MotoGP. Uh, I, might, I might be completely wrong there, but I think I believe it might be about six, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's, he's very, very good. And obviously, he's not going to be taking that place next year in uh, Vintia Ducati. Yeah, it's, it, it's a Vintia Ducati, by the way. Uh, that's the team he was actually in. So, um, yeah, I will be uh, putting uh, that, uh, that name in the in the title of this video. Uh, so, we'll say um, Vintia Ducati, by the way. Because uh, that's the bike he was on, by the way. So I will be leaving that uh, in the title, if you can see it right now as well. Um, so um, yeah, he's um, yeah, he's he's a very quick rider, um, and uh, yeah, they've actually decided to not let him race next year. Uh, and obviously, he's been getting some good results lately and, and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, he's he's just a very good rider. Uh, been getting some good results and stuff, and we do. Really like him. Uh, but yeah, apparently on on Twitter they've uh, they've said that uh, he's not going to be um, racing, um, and I, I don't want to really bother playing because I know that I don't really, I, I know that I don't go on Twitter as much occasionally now anyway. Um, but yeah, I know that I've been on it, and apparently I did see that tweet where you put, and I was actually quite shocked about it because I thought he was going to be in it next year because uh, obviously he, he did well in this season. Um, but yeah, he's, he's not going to be in it, and it is, it is a really big shame he's not going to be there uh, next year. And um, yeah, as I said, he's, he's a very quick rider, and he's very, very good. Um, 
but yeah, MotoGP, I've, uh, I've decided to not, not, I've decided to not have him. Um, and yeah, I'm, I was really shocked when I saw that because I thought it was going to be in it, but yeah, they, they've decided to, to not have him. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just not very, very good, basically. Um, yeah, so it's just not very good, unfortunately. So, uh, but yeah, hopefully he does end up. Um, I'm not sure what he's actually going to. I'm, I'm not sure what he's actually going to be doing. Uh, I'm actually not sure whether he's going to be moving to uh, maybe Moto E, possibly. Because um, I know that uh, I know that Javier Simeon did that uh, did that last year. So it might be it might be going to Moto E. Uh, or he might be going to maybe Superbike or Super Sport or something like that. I don't actually re I really, really know what he's going to be doing. Or maybe he's going to be not racing completely. He's just going to be maybe watching the rounds or, or something like that. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, there's actually not been another tweet recently. So I might probably let you know in another video uh, whether he's actually tweeted anything out. Because I've, not, I've actually not been on Twitter myself today. Um... So I don't really know whether he's tweeted anything else. I don't. I don't actually really really know. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll go on Twitter tomorrow, um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go and have a look uh, whether he's yeah whether he's put something down because I don't really know whether he has. So uh, yeah, what? We'll oh god. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what we'll kind of I say? But um, yeah, but as I said, he is a very quick rider and a very very good rider on his day. So. Um, and yeah, it is a really big shame that he um that he that he's ended the MotoGP, and I thought they would have actually kept him next year because he's he's been doing very very well. But unfortunately, that's up to MotoGP really. Um, well, I'm, I'm actually not sure whether he made that decision or that was MotoGP's decision. And another thing I'm thinking of is probably MotoGP's decision because that's another thing I'm kind of thinking of really. It's pro it's probably MotoGP's decision probably because um, Carol Abraham would not do that. So obviously he's been in it for a long time, and like, why would he do that anyway? Because he's always very good. So I have no idea why he would do that anyway. So, but yeah, they've, they've decided to not keep him next year, and um, yeah, it, it is a big shame that he's not he's not going to be there. Because um, as I said, I've watched him from this year, and he's he's been really impressive. In, in, impressive. Uh, the um, okay, I don't that, that that didn't even sound right. Uh, he's really impressed. Yeah, there we go. The other team, and uh, yeah, did some really good results and stuff like that. But yeah, it, it is a big shame that he's not going to be not going to be there next year because he, he's he's very very good and he's a very good rider. I, I, I did kind of really like him in a way though, but like in sort of other ways, I did kind of really like him. Like obviously his results and rides and, and all that have been very very good, and obviously he's been getting some good ones and stuff. Um, like the results have not been too bad, but yeah, there's there's been a lot out there that he's been he's been doing very well on, and there's a lot out there that he's been doing very very well and stuff. So, um, but yeah, I am gonna miss I, I am gonna miss him because he, he he is very very good, and um, yeah, it is a big shame that he's not gonna be there. But yeah, but hopefully he does enjoy his life and see where he where he goes. But yeah, but um, I didn't actually cry about it. I just like I was very shocked about it because I thought he was going to be there, but, yeah, but, um, yeah, we'll have to kind of say, but, yeah, he is, he is a very good rider, and a very, very, very co competitive sort of rider that's been in MotoGP for, um, a long, long time, and been in it for a little bit of a while, but, yeah, we'll have to kind of see what happens, I'm not sure whether anything else will actually happen, but, uh, but, yeah, as I said, he's actually not tweeted anything else yet, uh, anything else yet, so I'm not sure what's, like, what's going to be coming next of him. Um, but um, yeah, what kind of I say? But yeah, I, I, I do have him on Twitter anyway, so let's kind of see what happens about that. I do follow him on there, so um, yeah, as I said, we'll have to kind of see what else he puts down or anything like that, uh, where he's actually going to be going uh, into um, into it next year. But um, yeah, he's um, he's very good. He's a very good rider. Um, yeah. Uh, what, what track am I doing? Uh, what other track shall I do? Um, let's do Philip Parlin, why not? Um, yeah, so yeah, he's, he's very, very good and very, very good. So, but yeah, but he's, he's a very good rider. <coughs> 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 
yeah, he's, he's very, very good. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not totally sure what his highest position has actually been. That's what I want to know. Uh, I know that he has actually finished in quite high positions, but I'm not sure what his, high, what his highest position has been. That's what I want to know. I actually don't know what his highest position has actually been. I actually want to find out about that because I actually don't know what his high, highest position has actually been. But I actually don't know. I actually don't know. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know actually. But we'll have to kind of see anyway. But yeah, I don't know. I don't actually really know. Uh, but um, yeah, he is very good. And he is a very, very, very good rider. Uh, and um, yeah, let's kind of see what he, what he does from there. Well, obviously, he's got... Um, He's got some. He's got some good choices to go through. So I don't. Know, I don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, what's kind of obviously what he does. Um, as I said, he has got a few options he can do. Like obviously he can not race completely, or possibly he can, um, or possibly he can um, not race at all or anything like that. But like it's kind of up to him anyway what he does because obviously he can't go in the MotoGP season anyway now. So. That's t technically over, but um, yeah, there is there is a few things he can kind of attack as well that he can actually do. So he has got a few options there, um, but it's kind of up to him really of what he does because like he's kind of got a few there anyway that he can actually do. So as I said, it's technically up to him, and he'll have to just think about like the the next plan he's going to do in MotoGP because as I said from before. He's been in it for he's been in it for around six years, and as I said, he's he's been a very good rider. And obviously, I think back then he was in Moto Two and that, and then Moto Three uh, back in about 2013, um, and then obviously he came to Moto GP. So all the time he's he's been doing that, he's been doing all right. But yeah, I want to kind of see what he what he does. Um, but yeah, he's he's very very good and stuff like that. So. Let's we'll kind of see where he goes from there, but um, who knows? Maybe he's gonna, as I said, plan something else, or maybe plan another thing or anything like that. But yeah, he's very good, and also very, very supporting the team as well uh, into next year. Very, very good as well with the team as well. Um, but yeah, who knows? Maybe he's, he's gonna move on from that, or maybe he's gonna do something else. But let's we'll kind of see how it goes. But. Um, but yeah, I am going to miss him recent because, I, as I said, I've been watching him as well, and he's been very, very impressive. And and let's kind of see what he what he does from there because he's like I think I think I got to say like he's one of them, one of them like one of them smooth riders when you think about it, like one of them riders that like kind of races in a good speed and that, and obviously a very, very good rider and stuff like that. So I think I believe I'm going to call him one of them. One of them like very smooth riders and stuff like that, like one of them very smooth ones and that. Um, and yeah, basically just one of them riders that like kind of likes racing and stuff and just one that like likes to dip his toe in there and have some good results and stuff. Like not like not sort of like bad results or anything like that, but like some good results that he like kind of like, has been having over the past couple of years and stuff. Like the, the results he's been having and that. So that's what I actually got to say about him. And as I mentioned, I am going to really, really miss him um, as well. Um, and as I said, he has been in it for a long time. And um, yeah, but like, he's not going to proper retire. Uh, retire. Um, so he's probably going to go somewhere else. But another place I'm thinking of is probably Moto E, possibly. Um, but at the moment, though, I actually don't know because uh, he's actually not tweeted, as I said. So I'll have to kind of see what happens, but um, yeah, I'll have to let you know at some point um, of where he's going to be going. But um, yeah, I'll have to kind of see anyway, but um, it's technically up to him anyway of actually where he goes. Uh, but yeah, it is a really big shame that uh, the MotoGP have decided to not let him race. Um, but yeah, he's he's very, very good anyway. And as I said, we are going to miss him in MotoGP. And um, as I said, like, he might come back one day, possibly. Like, kind of what he did from before, so he might not come about one day again. Um, but yeah, that's actually technically up to him, really, whether he will come back, because I actually don't know. But yeah, there's probably going to be a replacement somewhere for him anyway, so it's kind of a sleep, but um, yeah, that's technically up to him anyway, whether, whether there's going to be 
a placement or anything like that for him or anything like that, but like another place I'm, as I said I'm thinking of is on the Moto E, but I actually don't know whether there's going to be any spaces there, because who knows, maybe Moto E might end up having a space or anything like that, but yeah, it's technically up to him really whether, the, whether there is going to be one, but yeah, we'll have to kind of see uh, how it goes or anything like that, but yeah, it, it's, it's a big shame, but as I said, hopefully he does end up enjoying himself anyway of what he's going to be doing. Uh, whether he's going to be moving to Moto E or if he's going to be moving somewhere else, but um, yeah, let's kind of see what happens. Uh, but yeah, good luck, Carol Abraham, um, and yeah, hopefully you end up coming back coming back at some point. So uh, yes, yeah, so that was my video uh, of talking about Carol Abraham won't be taking part in MotoGP into next year. And as I said, it is a big shame that he's not going to be there. Um, but um, yeah, as I said, he's been very, very, very good anyway. So that's kind of be all right. But not to kind of see how it goes anyway. Uh, so yeah, that was that was my video. So because I've, I've enjoyed it anyway. So um, about Carol Abraham. So I'll have to let you know in another video uh, whether he's going to be tweeting anything else on Twitter. But apart from that, let's kind of see what happens. Uh, but yeah, that was my video about him. Uh, so um, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, so yeah, I got you. And I will see you all later. Bye.